Okay, so for this question, the important thing is to write out the equation. So it looks like we're reacting potassium hydroxide with acetic acid. So when we write that equation, it's going to be KOH plus CH3COOH. And then since this is a strong base and a weak acid, we're going to form water. And then we're going to form the conjugate base. So we'll have K plus and CH3COO minus. Okay, so first we need to find out how many moles of KOH we have. And so to do that, we're going to take how much we have, which is that 38.3 liters, and we're going to multiply it by the molarity. So the molarity is given in moles per liters, so we'll have 0 0.666 moles of KOH per liter. And so when we do this, we make sure that the liters cancel and we're left with moles of potassium hydroxide. So then our answer here is going to be 25.5078 moles of KOH. And so now in this reaction, it looks like it's one to one. So one mole of KOH reacts with one mole of acetic acid. So if we needed 25.51 moles of KOH, then that means that this many moles is also neutralized. So then that means we also have 25.5078 moles of CH3COOH. So then keeping in mind that molarity is moles per liter, we have our moles, and then we also have our liters from our problem. So then we'll divide this by 21.5 liters, and that's going to give us 1.18641 molarity of acetic acid. So now in this problem, it looks like you should have three significant figures because that is the least number of digits of all of your numbers. And so we would round this to 1.19 molarity of CH3COOH.